All right, people, welcome back. Card review. So I know, I know, I know we have our new Link Summon Monsters. You want me to review them, but I'm going to hold off on that. And the reason for that is because I wanted a little bit more information. I'm really confused how pendulums will work with the whole Link Summoning and whether they'll still be OP or not. And I need to know that information before I just hop right into just doing some Link Summons. There's a couple of cards that I don't mind, you know, I do, definitely do want to review, but I'm going to hold off on that. But with all this hype of the Link Summoning and all of that and the new DDD monsters because they got, you know, the executives, little squeeze in there, we actually got some new, quote-unquote, Light Sworn monsters. And I don't like Light Swords. I, I, oh my god, skill is trash to the... 10th degree, I swear to Christ, it's just, I mill, I summon Judgment Dragon, yay, you know, and while they've gotten, you know, slightly changes, slightly a little bit better, and, and some synchros, and some tuners, adding in, you know, the Minerva Expensive card, uh, the deck has grown, but in the end of the day, it's still Light Sworn, JD, Skill is Trash, you already know how it is, but yeah, they got two new cards, and it's not what you expect, they're actually, like, dark kind of twilight, you know, monsters, which, you know, this is what uh, was one of the things that uh, when Judgment Dragon and Light Swords are back in their prime, this is one of the things that you did, you'd make it a twilight deck. So uh, they got a new twilight S monster and a new Judgment Dragon S monster. So that's what we're going to be reviewing this week. Uh, we got plenty of cards to review, so don't think that, you know, we're going to run out of anything. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and look at these two cards. And, like I said, once I, you know, more know more about the Link Summoning, we'll get to reviewing some of the Link uh, monsters. So, today we are looking at, it looks like, Twi Twilight Lord General Jane, or Jan, or Jan Twilight Sworn General. I mean, I think the second one's probably going to be uh, our TCG name, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, a Twilight Sworn. So, oh, yeah, so creative. We've, we've been calling the deck Twilight, where you throw a little bit of the darks and the chaos with the Light Sworns. We've been calling that shit Twilight since freaking, what, 2007, 2006? So, ooh, good on you, Konami. Wow, you're so creative with the Twilight Sworn. Uh, anyway, it is a level 4 dark, yes, yeah, dark, warrior type effect monster. 1800 attack, 210. So, I think this is just Jan, you know. Uh, you know, the Light Sworn monster, except as a Twilight Sworn general. So I'm kind of wondering if they're all going to become, you know, the Dark Twilight Sworn. And whether this is worth running over just the normal uh, Twilight Engine card and stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and look at this effect. So first effect is, once per turn, you can banish one Light Sworn monster from your hand or graveyard and target one face-up monster on the field. It loses attack and defense equal to the banished monster's level times 300 until the end of the turn. So... I mean, there's a lot of level 4s, so let's we'll just go ahead and say, banish a level 4. Uh, that's losing, what, 1200 attack and defense? It's not terrible, it's just not really great, and doesn't really lead towards anything. Uh, what I like about it is that because it says Twilight Sworn, that Light Sworn is in the name, like, technically it's right there, Twilight Sworn. So, I'm assuming that you can banish other Twilight Sworns for this effect, um, now, the question is, why would I want to banish my Light Sworn monsters? Especially from the hand. Like, banish from the hand, that's a name. Banish from the grave, that's nice. That, that, I don't mind that. You know, it's not a resource anymore, but... Uh, yeah, hopefully, I have monsters with different names, you know? Because if I'm banishing monsters, you know, with the same name, I'm already using copies of names, and I'm just, you know, that's, one, that's less names for Judgment Dragons. So, you know, while I am doing the whole, like, Twilight Sworn thing, I kind of want to keep my Light Swans and my JD focus, so I don't want to lose track of that just to, you know, banish to decrease your attack and defense. Now, this monster already being 1800, and, you know, generally your level 4s, you being able to crash with, like, a 3000 attack monster with this one level 4 card, it's not terrible. That really isn't. It's being able to just be like, summon... Banish a freaking right, and I have multiple of them. You drop down by 12, you're also 18, I'm 18, attack, crash, you know. That's not terrible, it's not terrible. Um, and it has one more effect that's similar to Jane in a sense. So, once we turn, if another of your Light Swan monster effects activates, just any of them, by any means, you send the top two cards of your deck to a graveyard. So, this seems like it would be kind of good with uh, Little Minerva, because, you know, you mill, and then Little Minerva's like, I'm, I'm going to mill you an extra card, and then, you know, this Twilight Swan Jane here is going to be like, hey, I'm going to mill you two more cards. But, uh, it's... It just doesn't mill on its own, you know? Like, it needs another Light Sworn monster to activate to mill when 
you know, I like how Lila's like, hey, I'm going to mill three during the end phase. All right, you do your thing. Ryan's like, I'm going to mill you two, and I'm going to mill you two more, you know. If you're not really milling by yourself, then you're not really doing anything. It's like um, that 1850 Light Swarm guy. I forgot his name, but it's like he mills, what, two more after a Light Swarm monster mills, and if you mill a Light Swarm, you get the draw card. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just he's not doing the milling himself. So, I mean, this Twilight Swarm Jan is pretty much in the same boat. You're not doing the mill yourself. While you can add on additional mills, it's just Light Swarms aren't the fastest thing with additional summoning, you know? Uh, I don't think this is the card that Light Swarms need. I really don't. If I would have came up with a Light Swarm card, if I wanted to make Light Swarms, you know, great again, uh, make them really good, uh, what I would do is I would make a level 4 Light Swarm monster. If you want to make it a Twilight, Dark, whatever, more power to you, whatever. I don't care about the twi Twilight Swarm. Like I said, it's just cute. What I would have done is make it so it's a level 4 monster that says, when this card is normal summon, you can special summon a Light Swarm monster from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. That way, when you get those Felices and those Wolves in your hand, they're not just stuck there unless you have, like, what, Solar Rage Hard? Uh, and you get to summon. It's a four. You're summoning fours. And, of course, uh, you can go into, uh, you know, your XC Minerva, your expensive Minerva. You can go, if you have, like, if you summon, like, Raiden, you can go into some... Uh, nice level four, uh, level eight synchroing, so that'd be nice. You know, maybe go into Omega, put some stuff back uh, from your banish zone to your graveyard. So that's into it would be nice with the Twilight Swarms. Uh, summon the little Minerva and go into you know your micro Michael synchro summon uh, stuff like that, and then maybe just toss in an additional effect. Uh, like I wouldn't mind this effect on that card because then that could give you that additional Light Swarm monster that you need to activate. You know. Because you're summoning that light swarm monster would give you the additional summon of the Raiden, of the Lila, of the whatever. That monster can activate their effect, whether it be Lila popping a back row or Raiden, you know, milling. Uh, like, it wouldn't work as well with, you know, maybe Feliz. Well, Feliz like, can contribute a pop a card that you'd mill. After she mills three, then you mill two more. Uh, Wolf wouldn't be great, but I mean, you're actually getting to summon the monsters who would usually be stuck in your hand. Ignoring their summoning conditions, which would be pretty great. It really would be. And then that would be fine to have this last effect that uh, Twilight Swarm Chain has with. If another Light Swarm Monster activates the effect, send the top two cards to deck. So you can go like this. Sum uh, summon the monster that I just created. Special summon right and right and mill two. This, mill two. That, that's four, you know? And you can either synchro summon or you can go, alright, during the end phase, right and mill two. This, mill two. I just mill eight. And that's pretty powerful. And, you know, with Light Swords being skillless, trash, and loving the mill, I think that card would be a lot better. Or maybe just go into your Minerva or your Omega or any other uh, level eight synchro or, or rank four place, you know? So I think that would be better than this. As a Twilight monster and added on to the Twilight engine, I just don't think it's really necessary. Like, I don't see the point. Like, there's just so many other better dark monsters that serve a better purpose and more aggressive Twilight-esque things. You know, whether it be you throwing in some Chaos Sorcerers, throwing in some Daddy, throwing in some Gores, throwing, you know, throwing in some dark monsters that like protecting, maybe like Necro Gun or something. There's just a lot of other better dark monsters that would serve a better purpose than this. this. I mean... This is kind of being anti why the lights ones are like, hey, I want to banish, you know, I want to mill a whole bunch and make sure that the monsters are in the graveyard. For JD, this is like, hey, I'm going to banish monsters from the graveyard. It's like, you're kind of doing the opposite. But you are doing your job for, of course, the card that we'll be reviewing on Wednesday, Punishment Dragon. Yes, the, a Dark Judgment Dragon. So you already know how powerful JD is. Let's see if this card is powerful enough to stand up to JD and also get maybe its own anagram and it's maybe PD. I don't know. So... Uh, that's really all I have to say about this card. Tell me what you guys think about Jam, Twilight, Sworn General in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Like I said, I will be back on Wednesday. Again, Punishment Dragon. And I will get to uh, reviewing them Link Summons and Link Monsters soon. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next card review. Thanks for watching.